first stop is to uh, buy a guitar, not rent a guitar. Okay, so we got the bikes rented, and I'm up here in Upper Bidwell Park. Show you around a little bit. Lovely, lovely rocks up here. And I have a few things on my mind as well. Huh. I've got a plantar fasciitis, fasciitis, however you say it, <laughs> um, problem with my foot. And uh, when my doctor said that I could bike, I doubt that this is what he had in mind. Um, but, uh, you know, let's see what happens here. Uh, this is one way to stretch out your plantar. Ah, gorgeous up here. The golf course down below. That's the cliffs up above. The valley beyond. Mm, time to go back. So that's one thing I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about how to make clear the range of expression available to participants on tech matters, technology matters, um, both in terms of tools, genres, and in terms of how public, how to connect to uh, the general RSS feed or not. Um, so how to how to think about that with with the other facilitators. facilitators. You know that error I just made of referring to myself as one of the facilitators is interesting. Um, interesting in this way, you know, I'm better described as a researcher, an ethnographer, um, an experimenter of making tech matters public, um, project manager, perhaps, whatever. Um, but getting back to ethnographer, I really see my role as an ethnographer as the kind of ethnographer who turns the uh, research over to the participants so that they are doing their own ethnography and you know of course that kind of teacher research uh, participant ethnographer role is something that uh, has a long history but I think gets updated in really exciting ways with web 2.0 because not only are we readers and writers, not only are we teachers and learners, we are also our own researchers. We are our own documenters. And you know, I suppose I need to be the uh, uber documenter, <laughs> documenting their own documentation of, of their own learning. Yeah, I can accept that. But I really have set this site up and want to see if they can be their own documenters, their own researchers into their own learning. Um, and part of that is this uh, becoming public with what is often a private conversation or a private piece of learning. Um, it's in that process of becoming public that we become ethnographers, it seems to me. So in the airport today, um, to shift the topic a little bit, um, talking to Chris Sloan, Chris forgot his digital camera. And he realized that people would be putting pictures up in Flickr, um, tagging them, TM07, and, um, and uh, 
so, you know, was his camera really necessary was his question. Um, now, of course, he has a unique view on things, but he did bring a recording device with the microphone, an you know, iPod with the microphone, and, and um, he started thinking about how documenting the events with his microphone would be different than um, documenting them with his uh, camera. And in a sense, he felt like he would be more personal than the recordings. Um, I related to that question in, in an interesting way, I think. I am um, thinking about what I'm doing right now, this kind of videotaping. Um, and the kind of recording I can imagine doing, where you put the recording device in the middle of a conversation with people's permissions, of course. Um, that kind of um, made me think also about how the different media that we might use to document this event changes, like um, how personal or how how, how much it's about my perspective and how much it's about yeah, representing other people's perspectives and including other voices. I think that's all very interesting and our conversation, Chris and my conversation, led us to kind of think about how in fact we could use any of these media in any way we'd like to. But um, it's fun and I think useful to distinguish between them, to make distinctions, to choose different social purposes, different, uh, again, impose a kind of genre on one media as opposed to another. I think that's all kind of interesting to be thinking about. And uh, so I'll end this video by saying I think some of the videos I do will be, in fact, um, less personal than this one. But I invite you to uh, ride along with me and think about kinds of questions and issues I have as well. Um, I hope this kind of video cast has a place in this documentation as well. So that's all for today. Um, going to a party tonight and uh, where we'll meet up with all the other facilitators. There we go again. And thinking partners <laughs> and uh, documenters and everybody else is coming uh, over at Peter Kittles. So I'll talk to you again soon.